China is home to more than 600 billionaires, second only to the United States. But in recent years, some of the most prominent and influential among them have mysteriously disappeared from public view, sparking speculation and concern about their fate. What is behind these disappearances? Are they the result of political crackdowns, personal scandals or business disputes? And what do they reveal about the complex and often perilous relationship between China's private sector and the ruling Communist Party? Perhaps the most famous case of a missing billionaire is that of Jack Ma, the founder of Alibaba, one of the world's largest tech giants. Ma is widely regarded as a visionary entrepreneur who transformed China's e-commerce, digital payments and cloud computing industries. He is also known for his flamboyant personality, philanthropic activities, and outspoken views. But in October 2020, Ma made a controversial speech at a financial forum in Shanghai, where he criticized China's regulatory system for stifling innovation and accused the state-owned banks of having a pawn shop mentality. He also mocked the authorities for trying to use the way to manage a railway station to manage an airport when it came to overseeing the new world of digital finance. Ma's speech angered the Chinese establishment, especially President Xi Jinping, who reportedly personally intervened to halt the initial public offering of Ant Group, Ma's latest venture that commands the digital payment market in China through its Alipay app. Ant Group was set to become the world's largest IPO, valued at $37 billion, but it was abruptly suspended just days before its debut on the Shanghai and Hong Kong stock exchanges. Ma and his close colleagues were summoned for a meeting with the regulators, and Alibaba's shares plunged, wiping nearly $76 billion off its value. After that meeting, Ma vanished from public view. He did not appear on his own reality show, where he was a judge, nor did he attend any of his usual public events. For three months, there was no sign of him, leading to rumors that he might have been detained, arrested, or even killed. Finally, in January 2021, Ma resurfaced in a short video message for a charity event, where he praised China's rural teachers and said he would spend more time on philanthropy. He was later spotted playing golf on a tropical island in February, but he has kept a low profile ever since. His companies have also faced increased scrutiny and pressure from the regulators, who have launched antitrust investigations, imposed fines, and demanded reforms. Ma's case illustrates the risks and challenges that China's tech entrepreneurs face in a country where the Communist Party has the ultimate power and authority over all aspects of society, including the economy. While the party has allowed and encouraged the private sector to grow and innovate, it has also sought to maintain control and oversight, especially over sectors that are deemed strategic or sensitive, such as finance, media, and data. Another case of a missing billionaire is that of Xiao Jianhua, a Chinese-Canadian tycoon who was abducted by Chinese security agents from a luxury hotel in Hong Kong in 2017. Xiao was the founder and chairman of Tomorrow Group, a sprawling conglomerate that had interests in banking, insurance, energy, and real estate. He was also known for his connections to China's political elite, including former President Jiang Zemin and his allies. Xiao's disappearance was widely seen as part of a sweeping anti-corruption campaign launched by President Xi Jinping, who has vowed to target both the tigers and the flies, meaning the high-ranking and low-ranking officials, in his bid to consolidate power and eliminate potential rivals. Xiao was accused of being involved in various financial crimes, such as fraud, bribery, and insider trading. In 2022, Xiao was sentenced to 13 years in prison after a secret trial. He was also ordered to pay a fine of 11 billion yuan, $1.6 billion, and to hand over all his assets to the state. Xiao's case raised questions about the rule of law and the protection of human rights in China as well as the autonomy and security of Hong Kong, which is supposed to have a separate legal system under the one country, two systems principle. Zhao's case also reflects the changing fortunes and loyalties of China's business elite, who have often relied on their personal and political ties to advance their interests and avoid trouble. But as Xi Jinping has tightened his grip on power and reshuffled the party leadership, some of these ties have become liabilities exposing the businessmen to scrutiny and prosecution. 
The latest case of a missing billionaire is that of Bao Fan, a renowned investment banker who vanished in February 2021. Bao is the founder and CEO of China Renaissance, a leading financial advisory firm that has helped some of China's most successful tech companies, such as Alibaba, Tencent and ByteDance, to raise funds and go public. He is also a prominent figure in China's tech and venture capital circles, known for his insights and influence. Bao's disappearance came amid a wave of regulatory actions against China's tech sector, which has been accused of monopolistic practices, unfair competition and misuse of data. Bao's firm, China Renaissance, was among the targets of the regulators, who fined it 600,000 yuan, which is $92,000, for failing to disclose information about an acquisition deal in 2017. A few days after Bao went missing, his company issued a statement saying that he was cooperating in an investigation being carried out by certain authorities in the People's Republic of China. It did not provide any further details about the nature or scope of the investigation, nor did it indicate when Bao would return. Bao's case has sent a chilling message to the rest of the market, as it shows that even the most successful and respected players in the industry are not immune from the authorities' scrutiny and intervention. Bao's case also demonstrates the uncertainty and volatility that China's tech sector faces in a rapidly changing and increasingly competitive environment. While the sector has enjoyed tremendous growth and innovation in the past decade, it has also faced mounting challenges and pressures both domestically and internationally, such as rising costs, slowing demand, trade tensions and geopolitical risks. The vanishing billionaires of China are not isolated incidents, but rather symptoms of a deeper and broader phenomenon that affects the entire private sector in China. They reveal the complex and often perilous relationship between the entrepreneurs and the state, as well as the opportunities and challenges that the tech sector faces in a dynamic and evolving market. The fate of these billionaires also has implications for the future of China's economy and society, as well as its role and influence in the world. Will China be able to foster a more balanced and sustainable development model that respects the rights and interests of all stakeholders, including the private sector, the consumers and the regulators? Or will it continue to pursue a more aggressive and assertive approach that prioritizes the party's power and agenda over everything else? These are the questions that the vanishing billionaires of China pose, and the answers will shape the destiny of not only China, but also the rest of the world.